Welcome back to Let's Play Spore. This is le z number zero one, and once again, we're joined by Fiery Vampire Octopus. Yes, me! <laughs> now, here we have our nest. There we have this big epic based on one of uh, Fiery Vampire Octopus's or Kyor San's creations, and we're going to do something we haven't done before, which is being. Making use of our uh, being, being an omnivore, or making use of our omnivore's parts. Yes, I know we were uh, carnivore when we left the cell stage, and we still have the carnivore setting, but since we took that little herbivore thing from this uh, primal creature creator, we are also the guys who can be... Yeah, you know. You can eat fruit so you don't starve Indeed. and die. Because that would be sad. Now, um, these Ephril are clustering too much around their alphas for my liking. Though this one seems a bit secluded, so we could take it on probably. Oh no, let's not. Let's just hunt for more parts. Hey, there's a part. I wonder where the epic is gone that was over here. Oh, it's over there. Oh, oh no, that's the big plant we saw earlier. That's not the doll that was wandering around here. Now, it looks like this epic has no qualms about killing these Ephril that were clustered together. Actually, I think it likes it. Over here we have a crashed spaceship. I was actually thinking this would be a spice geyser, but no, these are spaceships. Yeah. The funny things about these spaceships that crash is that the spaceship that's crashed here is a random creation by someone from your Sporpedia. I've seen one of my own crashed over there on a Marshall of my design. Which is called a Marshall because of no particular reason. Other than that, I wish you could look. figure out whose spaceships those were. Yeah, but there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff you'd like to figure out. Hey, look over here. We have lemons. Lemons, lemony goodness. Now this I is. Too I actually don't like lemons. They're too sour. Yeah, I'm talking about lemon with an eye. No, not like the communist leader, for those of you who are uh, historically dyslexic. Mm. Now these Arafal are slaughtering us once again, but we got most of the parts we need, and I'm eating one of their bodies while it is trying to kill me. Let's move away from here before we get our asses slaughtered once again. Indeed. Try not to die. Well, that's going to be hard at this point. Hey, look, there's a new nest over here, or something. Or is this my nest? I don't know. Oh, this is the alternative nest. Well, it's still a good place to regenerate a bit. Oh, there, this is the old nest. Even. Oh, we have the UFO. What is it? What is it? What is it? This is the, accl the Acclimator by Verdia 70. Looks like a nice ship. Looks pretty I impressive. From the looks pretty impressive from the ground as well. Let's see if we can find it again, because. Where is it? Where is the damn Sorry. Ship? Hey, look, the airfall is still chasing us. But I can't see this ship we saw earlier. We saw it appear over our heads, but now it seems to have this... Oh, there it is. Now, as you can see, it looks pretty cool on the ground. It will abduct you. No, well, will. not you. It'll abduct your, your pack and maybe some of other your species. Actually, it just abducted one of the enemies that was chasing me around. Ah. And See, they can be helpful sometimes. I wonder, will it, will it fight with this big epic? No, probably not. Because they don't care for epics. They make epics. Which is, by the way, a great way of attacking another nation in the space phase uh, without, getting, without getting them angry at you. Just episodes. Oops, I accidentally turned that one creature into a gigantic sin against humanity. Now it is Sorry. eating. Now it's eating your city. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, and they're like, yeah, whatever can happen. The when Giant you blow up one of your enemies nearby with a nuclear weapon or something, it's like, dude, you can't use nukes. I know, dude, you can't use the abilities that you were given because you chose that class. What are you crazy? Uh, well, eventually, once you have a shield generator on some mega bombs, it really doesn't matter anymore that they won't like you because of that. Or when you have uh, or when you have spent 80 million spore bucks on uh, planet Weaponry. buses for that ma matter, 
In that case, it's just you start eradicating every empire that goes to war with you, or even starts to dislike you because you use something that was against the Galactic Code. And actually, the uh, the Grops like it when you break Galactic Code. Yeah, unless you break it on them. Yeah. Hey, wait a second. Did I just spoil something? Ah, uh, probably bad. We're not going to try and ally the Grox, so... That's probably not we're not going to try to destroy them either. No, we're just going to make them so that they won't attack us constantly, and then we're going to make our way to the center of the galaxy, hopefully without getting killed. Just like we're going to do here. Look! Hey, I escaped them! Shiny bones! Haha, <laughs> you never will catch me. Anyways, I wonder what parts we have available to us, because really, maybe we can do a little. Oh, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Yes, we have the shortened snout, the part that I want to give my little sin against humanity <laughs> rap <-off> thingy. <laughs> but let's first do the little dance of friendship with this guy. You mean dance of mating? No, I mean dance of friendship. I want, I want him to join my club. Join the club, idiots! Oh, right. Oh, By the way, that one, you, uh, that one you allied with, or rather got in your club beforehand, that was your mother! Yeah, who cares? And you called it a guy. Maybe you're like, uh, what's it called? Seahorses. Yeah. Or perhaps they're all hermaphrodites. Yeah, that's possible too. Well, they're all reptiles, so maybe they're like frogs or something. Froggies! Well... Technically, they're all digital uh, creatures, so yeah, they probably they're don't have... They're all digital, non-existent things in a fantasy world where dancing makes you have babies. Yeah. That's not how it works! Hey, don't tell those people at the disco. Imagine what would happen <laughs> now. <laughs> You're doing it wrong! <laughs> Going to the disco and with a chart and stuff and... Go give an anatomy lesson. You're doing it wrong! <laughs> but again, if you, this is supposed to be an accurate representation of evolution and of, you know, the origins of life. Yeah, it feels... Steve Jobs fucked up big time. Mm -hmm. But it isn't supposed to be that. It's just supposed to be fun. Yep. This is about as accurate as Evo Search for Eden, which I'm totally not going to be let's playing wink wink hint hint nudge nudge insert random friggin uh what do you call it shameless plug here i don't even know that game so yeah who cares it's an snes game it's a pretty good one too oh. but it i mean it tries to stay in reality but it, at one point it's just sort of like fuck that i want to rape space time You'll see what I mean. But yeah, I start everything sci-fi. I have to actually beat the game on my own first, though. Yeah, everything sci-fi that we know actually rapes space time. So yeah, or actually most of it. Because pe because people, there is no way to travel faster than light, except if you have infinite energy or an infinitely small mass. And even region. then. You're not traveling faster than light, you're traveling at the speed of light. Yeah, which is pretty slow compared to the size of the universe. And, I mean, there are ways that you could supposedly travel faster than light, no, you... but then you're not traveling faster than light, you're just going from one place to another without going in between. Or you're just taking a shortcut, more like it. Yes. Just what I'm saying, you know, you, the warp drives on the, uh, the Enterprise. Yeah, I know. I was personally thinking of wormholes, though. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, let's sing while you dance. Hey, he really doesn't like that. It's not working for me. Let's do the dance together. Do the rabies dance. Yeah! Did you say do the rabies dance? <laughs> no. I said something around that. I said rabies dance, but yeah. <laughs> rabies dance. Do the rabies son. dance. Do, 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 Oh no, the rabbi has rabies! <laughs> well, that guy over there looks like he has rabies. At least he's overly aggressive and he's trying to kill us, but yeah. Rabies! No. We're going for rabbit rabbit stab. <laughs> yeah, more like that. 
Oh, and time's up again. This was Let's Play Spore with Aishas and Fiery Vampire Octopus. See you later, people. Yeah.